Awesome. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the yeah, show. I'm very excited right now because I have my great friend Jack here. He's from Louisiana, and so great about that is he actually went to Nepal, and I have a lot of experience from him. He was telling me a lot of good story. He had a lot of great time, a lot of fun in Nepal. So let me hear from the Jack. Jack, welcome, and thank you for being here. Thank you for time, man. Thank you. I I loved Nepal. I loved Kathmandu. All of the energy of the people there, all of the bright colors. There always seemed to be something beautiful happening. People crossing the street, right. uh, dogs. I loved seeing all the dogs. I loved eating dal bhat every day. Many, many experiences. Awesome. I mean, we already talked a little bit about the where did you go. Can you show, tell us where did you go from Kathmandu to? Delhi? Yes, I went. Uh, I was in Kathmandu for maybe five days. I went from Kathmandu to Pokhara. Pokhara, oh wow. Pokhara to Dangari. Dangari, we call Dangari, okay. Uh, I was in Lumbini. Lumbini, Buddha's, yeah, we Buddha's, call Lumbini. Uh, Buddha's birthplace. Birth I actually, yeah. I, 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 I smuggled some seeds. I took some guava from Buddha's oh, birthplace guava, and wow, smuggled nice. some seeds back nice. to the United American. States. And I have nice. guava growing from Lumbini. Yeah, that's why. That's why probably you showed me that uh, pickle things. You know, that's a good. Oh, huh? I, very, yeah. It's very hard to find. We call that lopsy in Nepal. Lop, lopsy. I know lopsy. lopsy. We call Indian. lopsy ko achar. We just pickle of lopsy. Yeah, English hog plum. Yeah, hog, hog plum. But it's they don't have hard. them growing here. We cannot find in America nowhere. Even oh, I you, try. You know what else I had that some friends of mine made in a jar is uh, uh, daikon, yeah. like radish, uh -huh, radish, chopped up. That they put the radish out in the sun, yeah. Yeah, and they yeah, let yeah. The, they let the radish dry, the yeah, white yeah. radish dry, and then oh. they put chili paste and oil in there. Kind of like pickles. Like yeah, like pickles, but spicy. So it's spicy. Good. Huh? Oh wow, that's good. How about momo? You had momo? The oh, I had thing? momo. Yeah. yeah. So I had momo. I had boof. Well, I yeah. had uh, Mama is the best one. Chai, chai, chai tea. We have yeah. a lot of tea, right? It's like a coffee, regular coffee. Yeah. yeah, Momo, Momo is very. Momo reminds me of in Korea they have what's called mandu. Mandu, mandu okay. was a dumpling, steamed dumpling. Even in dumpling, China too. China similar. also dumpling, yeah. Yeah, China they have dumplings too. Kind of similar. Yes. Yeah. Wow, mm -hmm. man, that's good. I, I'm glad you enjoy. It. So, what do you think about the food for American people? Let's say we live in America, and like you go to Nepal and they they try the food, everything. What do you think about that? What, what they should try, try for their food? I, I think uh, I think dal bat. I mm. think um, dal bat. Yeah. Uh, chow mein. How about chow mein? You try that? Wait, chow mein? Yeah, chow mein noodles. I had some. Yes, I had some. But noodles. not that really good. Okay. Um. What the momo? Momo and then uh, different chicken. Chicken beef. beef yeah. Okay. Mm. But it's spicy. I would say in in Dangari. Dangari. The the the, the food. Reminded me more of food I've like Indian food that I've yeah, had. Yeah, a lot of them. Spicier, spicy, huh? curry. Yeah, I like uh, sometimes they call like um, like a uh, super spicy, mm -hmm. kind of like an Indian. But some of them have like low, but most of them very spicy. Right. You know? Right. That's cool. Wow. Yeah. yeah. How was your like whole experience from going from the Kathmandu to Dangari to Pokhara? Like because I want to know my audience. Maybe somebody watching you, they want to go to Nepal from maybe anywhere from the world. Yeah. What they should do. My experience is I was lucky that I had a friend, uh, Sandeep Tandukar. Sandeep Tandukar, okay, so yeah, you can find him in, in Kathmandu. Nice, Just yeah. look him up. Uh, yeah, he's gonna call me now. <laughs> Just kidding. We'll, we'll, <laughs> Probably, we'll, yeah. we'll, we'll get his connection. Okay. But uh, he he took me on a motorcycle. Oh, motorcycle. Even me, I don't need to usually ride that much motorcycle, but you did. That's so yeah, cool. I rode. I rode on the back of his motorcycle. Back of the motorcycle. So wow. I'm, I'm holding on to him yeah. like this, going through the streets of, of Kathmandu. Right. And you know how it goes up sometimes, and mm. you're just so high up. Oh, and yeah. then I remember seeing the sunset over the city and then coming oh, down, wow. and we drove for about eight hours. Yeah. Uh, on our way to Pokhara, Pokhara. Oh, wow. we it's stopped. Beautiful. We spent the night in a, a hotel. It was very interesting. I think the sheets had uh, cartoon characters and oh, hearts and yeah. stuff. They looked like oh, they looked like sheets from the 1980s <laughs> from like a, a child's bedroom. It was oh, really, man. but it was cool. It was five dollars. I think yeah. five dollars. Yeah, for, very cheap. Yeah, for, for the night for both of us. Oh, yeah, wow. oh, we, yeah. Can't, we can't have anything five dollars here. Huh? Exactly. Wow. Yeah, it was about the same price as this, this to, one, to yeah, spend huh? the night. Yeah, and just beautiful. I have videos of me. Just riding on the back of the motorcycle, taking videos of wow. all the semis and cars. And yeah, special. That's awesome, man. So now we're talking about you going to Nepal, but now we're gonna talk about people coming here in America from Nepal. Mm -hmm. 
what they should do like let's say they're coming to visit right i know a lot of people they just come to, to visit yeah just come here they came here and visit and they go back like you did right. as, a, as a tourist you know so so what they, what they should do a, a, a lot of the united states is very similar mm -hmm. once you get into uh neighborhoods or suburban neighborhoods it's all Applebee's and McDonald's, McDonald's and yeah. Walmart, and Walmart so yeah. find places that that have character so if you're if you're coming to you know Los Angeles go to Venice Beach go yeah, to yeah, go yeah, to go to Big Sur which has its own little unique space yeah. go drive up the coast up mm. highway one and that that's yeah, like just that one, has yeah. its own beauty and that's just on it, there's a rain whole rainforest in yeah. washington razor clams uh right. that whole coast is absolutely amazing then you can come inland go to colorado uh but the mountain people like in nepal yeah, Col yeah. colorado the mountains go to sedona arizona, arizona. Uh, yeah amazing, i like that one. amazing yeah, amazing yeah. red we rocks in vortexes yeah and just beautiful and then around there too there's uh there's places called Bisbee, Bisbee and Jerome, and they're old mining towns, and they're really strange. Uh, near, near Sedona, no, near Arizona. Arizona, okay, okay. Near okay. Arizona. So that's yeah. just the West Coast. Yeah, this is a crazy then, thing about the United States. We can go the to the United canyon, all the canyons in Utah, mm -hmm. because I'm talking about people from Nepal, they're kind of familiar. Right. With the hills and mountains. Yeah, ab yeah. absolutely. And so that's, that's, I feel like, the crazy thing about the United States is, you know, yeah. Nepal is what, the size of half of california yeah the half of california yeah. right yeah exactly holy state like a whole country exactly <laughs> so you have this entire yeah. country and yeah. that's the beauty is we just talked about the west coast then you go even you know right. go to new york city right just the busy the big city of, yeah the yeah. business all the things that like are Kathmandu. happening it, it, it's like Kathmandu. Kathmandu, yeah. uh, Chicago Brown. is like that. Chicago and New York are very similar, yeah. except in Chicago the buildings are spaced a little further apart. So, uh -huh. yeah. you, and if you want to go to a place in the United States that's not like anywhere else in the United States, when I moved there, people were asking me. I was living in South Korea, oh, and people said, "Why are you, okay. why are you moving to this place?" Mm. And I told them, "I don't want to live in the United States anymore, <laughs> and so I'm going to move." To New Orleans, New Orleans. so New Orleans, Orleans Louisiana different. is like they know the country type of thing. <laughs> it's an, they call it the northernmost Caribbean city. You can go there, yes. hear music, uh, eat the good seafood, food, seafood. seafood. Yeah, Amazing. very good, very yeah. good. I like that seafood, man. I want to, I want to go to New New Orleans. I never yeah. been there, but I want to try. Now I you have a place good. to stay. Yeah, <laughs> thank you, man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was good. Yeah. So probably the last one, last question I'm gonna ask you. Let's say somebody wants to do business, right? You are also doing some business. Yeah. What their mindset should be like? Like you, you learn a lot about business, right? No one is just like working for a job, going through the work, computer, all this stuff. Right. But if somebody want to start a business from their career, mm -hmm. or let's say what their mindset should be, or work ethics should be, or mentorship, what, what, what would you say? Some few advice would you give? The first thing I would I'd do is have them talk to you. Yeah. Just because you have a lot to offer right. as somebody who has come here from Nepal to the United States and navigated the business world. And I think first, thinking about is there a bigger, is there something bigger than just making money? Right, right, And is absolutely. there something that you can do that's going to fulfill you because... Like helping people. Helping people, yes. Yeah. And so to find, find something that you're able to do both. Right, right, right. So you, would you say like mentorship also a big deal? Like find some mentor and learn from them? Yes, absolutely. Because think about anything in life. Yeah. You want you want to find somebody who's experienced some of what you've experienced right. so that that person, they say sometimes, they say a, a smart man learns from his own mistakes, mm. but a wise man learns mm. from the mistakes of others. Mm. I love so, that. Ooh. Especially if, say, somebody's coming, somebody's coming from Nepal. Right, right. You've been here for 10 years. You yeah. have experience. You have mistakes that you've made. Oh, yeah, that I did. By them talking to you, they might be able to avoid some of those mistakes. Absolutely, and, absolutely. absolutely. And, and their road in might be a little easier. Yeah, that's, even, even that's what I help. Like, let's say some people come from Nepal as a student, like we're talking about, like they go to college, definitely they need help. Right? Yes. They cannot do it here. Even some of them, they cannot work like easily because they, because they don't have some documents, paper, you know? Right. And I help them to like find a job, like this is some, some somewhere like, they can survive, you know. Mm -hmm. Make sure they're good on the good place. They can live. Yes. And even even I have last time one of my friend, 
he came here and he he doesn't know how to take a driver's license here. Ah, see, but that's the same. My fiance doesn't know how to take a driver's license. <laughs> no, you I'm, can scared. Teach I'm scared. I'm scared about now. her. Exactly. Yeah, I'm now trying can, to. I'm trying right? to help her. You got that. Right? I, I let her. It. I let her drive my truck. It was. A little, <laughs> that's what it sounded like. <laughs> see, she I was know. driving my truck. Cute. Like truck. They're like, oh truck, I'm here. I'm here now. <laughs> oh man, that's now sorry for the noise. <laughs> yeah, perfect. Yeah. Oh really? Now you can choose her too. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. That's what I want to do. Like helping my community, you know. Because even even though like I talk to like a lot of people in here in America, mm -hmm. and they know a lot of people about like they want to know from me. Like like as you said, like they want to learn from me, you know. Yeah. I'm not like crazy successful guy. Or I I don't know everything, right. but at least I know a little bit, you know. Exactly. And I want to teach them like like little like a driver getting driver license, you know, mm -hmm. or maybe getting their first job. How they how they how does it work, you know? Right. Or maybe. Some people, some people they talk about taxes mm -hmm. because in Nepal they, they do pay taxes but not like a similar system here you know right it's a different tax system here yeah yeah it's yeah. a big one they have to do it yeah. if, if they messed up the tax system then they're in a big trouble right right, right. or or even alcohol right in Nepal you talk about some people they do they are drunk all day it keeps everybody drunk yeah you saw yeah. that right I, yeah I saw that and sometimes they they will if somebody needs to go to rehab yeah. in Nepal yeah. they would take that they kidnap them oh, that's and crazy, just bring yeah. them to rehab rehab yeah <laughs> oh my god that's very sad oh wait I, I need to tell you one beautiful story yeah, so ahead. I was in Kathmandu and you know I, I forget the name of the temple where there's all the What's flags the big oh, big oh, temple the, the, Soembu, Soembu. yes and so I'm there and yeah. you know there's all the monkeys, monkeys Soembu, right, right? Yeah. and so I'm with my friend and I want to get a picture his son is named Aramha and okay. Aramha is a very cute boy he's eight and he's Aramha, eating okay. he's eating some ice cream right. and I wanted to get a photo and right as I go to take the photo this monkey went and grabbed his ice cream cone out of his <laughs> hand so I have the picture it's perfect of the monkey oh. grabbing the cone, so you can see the monkey, a rampa, and the wow. ice cream cone right before. The monkey took it? Yeah, the monkey took it. Oh man, yeah. that's very sad. You gotta be careful sometimes they took your phone too. Yes, exactly. Like phone, but camera, everything. Yeah, some of them, I heard in, in different places where the monkeys have realized like we can take their cell phone and then yeah. demand like a ransom, so you gotta give them some food and oh, then they give yeah, you yeah. your phone back. Maybe it could be, right? Really? Yeah, possibly, yeah. Possibly because yeah. they learn it. Google it. Yeah, yeah they, 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 they probably learn it like, oh, now wow. I'm going to steal phone, like, give me some food, then I'll give you back your phone. Exactly. <laughs> oh, exactly. Man, that's very sad. That's a funny story we got now. Mm. Awesome. So we're wrapping out now because we got to go, you know? Oh, yeah. So what's the last advice would you give to everybody? Not just from Nepal, from America, ever life. Because you, you have a lot of experience. You travel to sure. Korea. You travel to travel to um, Turkey, right? Yeah. Turkey, Nepal, all over the place, Louisiana, Iowa, everywhere. Yeah. So you got like whole life experience, you know? Right, right. Because I wanna, I wanna know. I, I haven't traveled that much, you know. Mm -hmm. So what your life advice would you give? Yeah. What is life? What's the best thing you can do in life? Life is a gift. Yeah. I like life that. is an opportunity to be curious, and mm. if you are curious, amazing yeah. things will happen. If you're filled with wonder, you. You, you never know. It's about finding someone you love, mm. loving that person your best, mm. and you're going to get closer to the divine source through trying to love everyone you encounter. Wow. Everybody you encounter has something to teach you. Wow. And then the Maybe. final thing is nothing is wrong. Everything's okay. Wow. It's either grace or an opportunity. And lastly, this is not reality. You are not your thinking mind. Mm. You are the capacity to watch your thinking mind. Wow. And yes, ready. Man, that's the, like a million dollar nuggets. Wow, Jack, thank you so much. Appreciate it, man. Yes, thank yes. you for your time. Yes. And guys, we'll see you on the next Keep in Touch. Thank you so much. All right, perfect.